Yeah, football season tends to open with that summer like weather. It's as we get into October, November starts to feel a little more fall like around here. But here's the temperatures at this hour. 92 degrees at Executive Airport, 89 in Fairfield. So far, Fairfield has stayed in the upper 80s as expected. We do have the Delta breeze not quite as strong as yesterday, but we started off relatively cool in a lot of spots. So most places still have yet to get to 100 degrees. We'll see if anybody does once we get the high temperatures at about six o'clock. But tomorrow, August 31st, the last day of what we call meteorological summer. It runs June 1st through August 31st on average. It's just the hottest three months of the year. That's why we call it meteorological summer. And this summer is going to end up being our hottest summer on record for downtown Sacramento. Here are the previous summers as they rank number one previously summer of 2020. The average temperature, so all the highs and lows for June, July and August was just shy of 80 degrees. So far this year, not including today or tomorrow, but it's not going to change all that much. The average is 80.3 degrees. So right now setting a record for the hottest summer by a degree. That's pretty impressive. And of course, a lot of that came because July was just so hot. The hottest month on record with uh, over 20 days in the triple digits. So how's September going to start off? Well, August closing out on a hot note. Temperatures upper 90s to around 100 degrees for a little bit tomorrow afternoon. September 1st and 2nd turn milder. You see this little drop in the jet stream here, allowing some of that cooler air to pour in from the north. But right on its heels, Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday of next week, another one of these big ridges builds across the western U.S. This one's centered a little bit closer to northern California. So for the time being, it does look like it has the potential to be at least a little bit hotter than what we were dealing with this week. This could also lead to some nights that are a little bit warmer than what we've seen this week as well. This week we've cooled off pretty nicely. We'll see how next week plays out, but just know the first week of September it's looking overall warmer than average, certainly for the Valley and for the Sierra as well. Seven day forecast for the high country has mid 80s tomorrow, but there you see mid 70s by Labor Day on Monday. You will notice a breeze both Sunday and Monday coming from the west. If you have plans to be out on the water, especially on Tahoe, just keep that in mind and look at the morning temperatures there. If you're camping, yeah, dropping into the 30s here pretty consistently at this time of the year. For the foothills, a little warm the next few afternoons. Highs in the mid 90s, lows in the upper 60s tonight, but lower 60s on Sunday morning. Labor Day should feel very nice. Pleasant breeze throughout the day. High temperatures in the 80s, but you see upper 90s to around 100 degrees Wednesday into Thursday. And for the Sacramento Valley, temperatures steadily decreasing each of the next few days around 100 degrees tomorrow afternoon. But again, the morning nice and pleasant.